Hello Capricorn. Welcome to your love reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. It is a general reading guys. This may or may not resonate with every Capricorn watching this video. Some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped. So feel free to switch those energies vice versa. If you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Alright? Whoa. The Fool and the Emperor in reverse here. Capricorn, it does look like to me like you're taking a new leap of faith and a new beginning. You're just starting from ground zero and leaving out an emperor here, okay? I think you're taking a new start in your life, but you're leaving out someone who's been a control freak, who's been very stubborn in their way, someone who lacks structure, who lacks routine, someone who just doesn't do things the right way, all right? But someone who is more like my way or the highway, okay? You're, like, you're leaving someone and wanting to uh, move... Um, in another direction the other way of looking at it is that this is the kind of person who's wanting to come towards you okay with the emperor in reverse here the emperor is wanting to come towards you someone who probably is non-committal okay and someone who didn't take you serious in the past okay the boundaries were crossed okay and this person wants to come towards you and take a leap of faith towards you all right take it out doesn't it how do you see yourself in this how do you see yourself in this connection capricorn <coughs> Eight of Swords in reverse with the Ace of Pentacles. You're releasing yourself from a situation that you feel very stuck, tight and bound to, okay? This is you who was in your head for the longest. You were living in your head due to fears, uh, due to self-limiting beliefs, okay? But you're releasing yourself from a situation and moving towards a brand new practical beginning, okay? Now, this could be you. This could be them. You could choose your choice. Choose the sides. How does this person see themselves in this situation? How does this person see themselves in this connection? reverse with the empress here this person out here wants growth expansion okay and this person wants something very committed with you and this person sees you as a uh, long term okay wanting something stable something secure something committed they want to give birth to something new they want to create okay a new relationship okay but a relationship that has a very strong foundation and they're losing their patience okay this person's losing their shit they're going bad shit crazy without you and that's the kind of person that's coming towards you. Yeah, Emperor in reverse, Temperance in reverse. Yeah, I get that. I get that. You, on the other hand, here, you've released yourself from this person here with Ace of Pentacles here. Yes, you do do probably even want a new beginning with you, okay? Or that's what you're going towards, okay? I don't necessarily feel you're going towards this person, but I do feel like you're releasing yourself from this person here who was not ready to give you something stable, something committed. And now you're moving towards someone else or at least something else that will give you that stability. All right, how do you view them, Capricorn? How does Capricorn view this person? <clears throat> you view this person as the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Cups here. So you definitely view this as someone who's single on their own, someone who chooses to be single, but also someone who chooses to focus on their independence, okay? Focus on their money, their financial goals, etc. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is someone to me who is, you know, just probably even throwing themselves at work, they're taking care of themselves, or but someone who's more focused on... Uh, being self-sufficient okay and this is someone who doesn't like to make the connection a priority okay but with the four of cups here you do view them as someone who probably emotionally breadcrumbed you okay or someone you know who was constantly uh, keeping you in the relationship and not giving you the entire package okay that's how you view them you view them as someone who's just wanting to be single okay seven of cups here this person could be some you know you could view them as someone who kept their op who kept their options open and kept you made you very confused how does this person view Capricorn? How does this person view Capricorn? <clears throat> yeah, this person views you as someone who's completely detached themselves, okay? You have detached yourself from this person here. You're not opening up. You're being very emotionally cold. And... Uh, 
you know you could have been someone who was very giving in this relationship very emotional easily trusting people you know but right now they see you as someone you know who's loving yourself making yourself a priority you're also very bitter resentful okay you're being very emotionally unavailable to this person just not ready to be uh, vulnerable right now and with the four of pentacles in reverse here they view you as someone who's let them go okay who's no longer holding on to them <clears throat> all right Tell me what action will Capricorn take towards this person for this week? Tell me what action will Capricorn take towards this person moving forward? Oh, Ten of Swords with the Hangman here. You're doing nothing, baby. You know, you're doing nothing. You feel backstabbed, betrayed, and you're putting an end to this bullshit. End to this overthinking, overanalyzing, okay? Because with the hangman here, there has been some kind of clarity that you have received. You've probably done a lot of thinking about this situation, okay? And you choose not to do anything about it, okay? The hangman is a very meditative energy, okay? It's a very spiritual energy where you're getting a lot of messages from the divine being downloaded, okay? So I feel that you're thinking about this very deeply, but you're just not rushing into it, okay? You're letting things play out. You're taking your own time. But I think with the Ten of Swords, you're, I think you're putting an end to that overthinking, overanalyzing. Maybe this person's puts you through hell and you're like, you know what? I'm done with this, okay? You want to recover from this because you feel cheated by this person, okay? And you choose to do nothing about this. What action does this person plan to take towards Capricorn for this week, please? Give me two cards. <clears throat> Whoa. We have the Chariot and the Three of Swords here. Uh, and the Knight of Swords, excuse me. This person is determined and hell-bent on moving towards you okay now you definitely could be dealing with someone who lives at a distance but this is a lot of strong will okay this is someone who has a lot of strong will power and determination to win on an energetic level okay they're wanting to move full speed ahead towards you we have two cards which is full speed okay this person feels the need to address the issue between you guys urgently okay i feel they're picking up on the ten of swords here okay i feel like they they literally because look that's how they see you they see you as giving up you're letting them go they see you as detaching you could have once been very attached to this person okay and plus with the temperance and reverse here they're even losing their patience no wonder that's like that's like double triple throttle right they are they're taking control of the situation they want for a moment very determined to take control of the situation like i said okay if i didn't say that again they're like literally now and with the knight of swords here there is some kind of communication coming in okay let's see now knight of swords is not really the best at expressing their themselves emotionally okay but this is definitely an arrival of some information all right what's the knight of swords here let me clarify why is the knight of swords here what information is this page of pentacles in reverse all right so yeah see this person's kind of confused or page of pentacles in reverse can also be someone you know who's not who's making a very subtle offer to you is what i'm getting okay i feel this person is wanting to come towards you there is communication coming in but i feel this person is going to make a very subtle offer to you or probably that communication that is still not going to be like for you it's like yeah sure i do okay or you're like oh like will you marry me or like you know let's move this forward i love you let's make this happen they're moving towards you very impatiently okay very aggressively very reckless okay because that's what you don't see you probably see them as someone you know who just doesn't care four of cups you see them as someone who's just not who's ignoring them okay or who's just not paying attention to them or not giving you the attention that you need but that's not exactly what's happening here this person's going nuts they're going crazy they're going ballistic okay and that the way they're approaching you, they are coming in very aggressive, okay? Brace for impact, by the way. But again, when the, the offer that is going to be made to you, right, it's going to be in a very subtle way. So you're like, really? Like, this is what you have to say? I mean, after all this while, that we were in no, no communication. So just be careful about that, okay? That's like a put up, okay? That's like a show. That's like a facade. They would want to say and confront you like now and say a lot of things. But they're just choosing to be very subtle. Tell me, why is all this happening? Why is all this happening? <clears throat> Voila. King of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. This person is dead serious about you, baby. 
Jellybean, you got commitment coming in. King of Pentacles is someone stable, someone secure, okay? Someone who's got their shit together, okay? This is definitely someone who knows what they want, okay? They're not fucking around this time, okay? This person is grounded, mature, financially stable, but this is someone who definitely wants something very, very stable, something very, very committed, okay? They no longer, this, you could be dealing with someone who usually chooses their money and who's very materialistic and all about their career and unstable, etc. And this time, they're coming in towards you with something, they want something very traditional with you, okay? And what they want is with a six of pentacles, this person wants to balance out the situation with you, you know? They want to. They want this equal give and take. They want equal reciprocity. This person wants to be a giver this time. So the tables have turned. Just when I'm telling you in their actions is that they're going to show you this. They're going to show you the subtle offer that's coming in, okay? Where like, yeah, I mean, let's talk or something like that, okay? They're not making that very evident offer to you, okay? But with the Knight of Swords here, that's their energy, okay? So the Page of Pentacles in reverse is just a facade. All right, tell me what is the future of this connection? What is the future of this connection? Six of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse here. <clears throat> you know what? I think, I, I don't think you give a shit to this person when this person comes back towards you. Because we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse here. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is clearly someone who's very focused on herself, okay? You're not putting in your energies into this person anymore and you're just choosing to move forward. You are. I think you you have the recognition that you need or you have, you know, you want to move forward, you want success, okay? And you're very confident that you can let this person go. But yeah, I don't see you as someone wanting to give into this situation when they come back. Because it's over for you. It's over for you. You know, you want to put an end to this. You're choosing not to take action towards this person, okay? That's why. I think you're just moving forward, okay? I don't think you're going to um, entertain this person when they come in. Yeah. Alright, clarify. Uh, let me clarify. Why the Queen of Pentacles and What is the Six of Wands here? What is the Six of Wands here? Why is this the outcome here? Can I have the Six of Wands? Yeah, see? You're moving forward because with the Six of Cups in reverse here, this person has given you a lot of pain, a lot of agony, okay? You are reliving the, the painful memories with this person here. You can't get over what this person did. You're holding a grudge, okay? You're holding a grudge against this person. You can't, you're living in the past constantly about how this person screwed you over, okay? Or how they messed with you. And you can't forgive, can't forget, okay? And that's why you're choosing to close off to this person here and you're choosing to move forward, okay? And move forward very arrogantly. I mean, not arrogantly, but with a lot of self-confidence and a lot of self-respect, okay? So yeah, this person, when they come in, right, they're up for a surprise is what I'm getting. But, but they're coming in very dead serious, okay? That's for sure. But this week, I, I don't think you're giving this person a lot of attention, all right? That's what I have for you. I hope this reading resonates, Caps. And uh, if this does, do leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.